Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at what's new in Pop! OS version 19.10. And right now I'll be using the blog to kind of break down what's new. And I'll actually have a link to this blog in the description below. So first things first, I want to talk about the changes to GNOME 3.34. That's one of the new changes in this latest version of Pop! OS. One of the things is that there's an overall improvement when it comes to performance. So for example, loading the icons, it's now a lot smoother than it was before. And the other change is that now you are able to group your own um, apps together. So let's say I wanted something for productivity um, or utilities. I can, I can grab this tweaks tool and then drag it in here. So now it's, uh, you know, better categorized here. You also are able to rename them, at least as of version 3.34.1 of GNOME. Name this as, let's say something like tools, then I can name it like that. So that's pretty neat. That's kind of how it works on Android and iOS OSs uh, for mobile. So, and GNOME has always been kind of like a, a mobile desktop hybrid type of environment here. The other big change is now you're able to better change the the background. So if you go to change background, now it's a lot easier or a little bit more organized, I would say. So now when you click on one of the images, you're able to just, you know, set background and lock screen, for example. And now you can enjoy this latest um, background here. So it's a lot smoother, a lot easier. As for the changes to GNOME, I think those are the main highlights when it comes to GNOME 3.34. So now moving on to the theme for Pop! OS, that's another big change here. It has been tweaked slightly to look a little bit more like the typical or generic GNOME theme, which is um, Eidwata or Eidwita or however you want to pronounce it. And I guess it looks okay. The only main issue I've had is with the icons, which was introduced in the last version of Pop! OS. To me, it doesn't just look that appealing, but um, it doesn't matter too much. I'm actually going to open up GNOME Tweaks, and now while I'm here, I'm going to change something up here. I'm going to add the Maximize and Minimize buttons. They just work better with my workflow, I think. And then, so if you go to Appearance, you can now click Pop Dark, and it'll switch to the Dark theme here. The Dark theme... Again, it's also based on or rebased on the dark theme for Eidwata. I actually think it doesn't look as good as it did before, but I think they wanted to rebase it on Eidwata because it's a bit more standardized, you could say. And so again, it's, it's still a nice looking dark theme, just not as nice as it was before, in my opinion. And there is a new way to upgrade to a different version of Pop! OS. So now if you go to the settings, you go to details. Normally now there will be a upgrade button down below as you can probably see on the blog actually. When you click on about, you'll see the OS upgrade here show up in the bottom. And then the last thing I wanted to cover was just the TensorMan. Um, I guess it's a new tool uh, for TensorFlow, which is another big thing that's new in this uh, OS. It's an overall good upgrade here. There's a lot of improvements, a lot of change, uh, a lot of little changes, and um, you know it's still a pretty smooth OS to use. There's a lot to like with Pop OS. My general gripe with Pop OS is really more on the theme because I think they do everything else pretty well. I just can't work without the minimize the plus. I personally can't work with the panel being hidden here, so I usually use the GNOME extension, the dash to dock to put it in the bottom here. And so those are my, my main issues with the OS, but overall it's still a good OS. They're doing a lot of good things here and you should definitely check it out. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.